I'm going to show you how to install the SCSS file watcher because we're going to use the SCSS version, not SAS, on your computer. I've got it up and running, so um, I just want to walk through the steps. First, you're going to have to install Ruby, and when you're creating with the WebStorm help, it'll tell you to install Ruby. You'll follow that link. You'll install it. That will give you inside your, if you go look at all apps, it will give you inside of Ruby, or if you go look in your Ruby folder, if you're on an older version, you'll get the start command prompt with the Ruby. That's how you run Ruby. So you go into here and you type in, and forgive me, gem install SAS. And it wants SAS, not SCSS. You'll get you'll actually get an error on the current version. And this is going to take it a minute. It will run. It'll work just fine. I'm going to pause the recorder, and when it's installed, I'll pick it back up again. All right, it's still installing. I'm going to just pick it back up and show you in WebStorm what you have to do is go into Settings, Tools. You're going to add a file watcher, and I've got both SCSS, and here you go. That's what you see to show that it's installed. And so I'm going to uncheck these. Actually, I'm going to subtract those, and I'm going to redo this. So the one that we use, and this is the only one you need, is the SCSS. So I use the um, plus sign to add one, and I look for SCSS, because this is the one I use in class. And if you don't have this come up automatically, just go look for it. It's Ruby bin slash SCSS dot BAT. That's the one you need. You hit OK. You hit OK. And now we should be able to create a new SCSS file. So let me bring this over here. File new. File, Mary.scss, hit OK. I'm not going to add it to Git because I'm not really going to use it. That creates my SCSS file. You might, the first time you run it, I've already run it so I can't recreate the first time that I've run it, get an Add File Watcher and you'll just hit Yes. And so what SAS does is it lets us do variables like um, main color. And then you'd put in a color. One, two, three, one, two, three. I have no clue what color that is. That's black. One, zero, zero, five, five, four, four, four. four. Okay, it's dark gray, whatever. I'm, I don't know how hex codes by heart. You will note that I get a green check mark. There's no errors there. I've created the variable. I can then use the variable. Uh, so I'll do body, color, and then I can use that name main color. Voila, I've created a, an SCSS sheet. When I change, when I save it, and it may have already done this, but when I save it, control S, then I will find mary.scss over here. And when I save it, it translates that preprocessor file into a CSS file, and it translates all of my variable names. So if I use the same color over and over, or if I change the color, it will re recompile everything. That's one of the my main strengths of using a preprocessor is variables. There's other things it does really well, but variables is very helpful. So that's both how to install it and why to install it.